for me, things have always been hard, you know, and in Portugal, I'm, I'm, I was pretty much the first guy to do the world tour, so I, had, I have no examples, you know, I had to do it by myself. Definitely that gave me a lot of strength and, and motivation, and I had two worlds. I had the, the, the weak world, where I was even doing other sports like basketball or volleyball or with my city friends, and then on the weekends I would run to the beach, like the escape. I was going to go on the bus for two hours by myself, but you know, when you get in the water, you put that thick wetsuit, you go surfing, it's, it's all worth it. You just spend the whole weekend in the water and try to surf as the, the most I could. I used to surf no matter what was in front of me, you know, the biggest storm or whatever, it didn't matter, I just go out. I was doing things my own way and I soon, I was starting winning QSs when I was 20 and I made a final at sunset at 20 years old but I didn't have the experience to hold myself when those big results happened. I had a lot of ups and downs on my career. I have really good ups and really low downs too. And, but uh, you know, it's just the, the price you pay when you're the first one and kind of exploring, you know, and part of my, my living, part of my experience. And I love it, you know, I think what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. So pretty much every contest, I feel like an underdog and I just love it. I just, it really suits me. It suits my, my personality. It's just the way I, I, I act and, and the way I am, you know, being an underdog and, you know, and just attack when I need to attack. That's pretty much it. When I find myself with two, two of my good friends out in the water, I just, I love it because I kind of forget about everything and just, you know, be that 13 year old catching two hour buzzes to, to go surfing. So I still feel that kid in me sometimes, so I'm, I'm loving it. I surf because I just love to represent my country.